Another important theorem is the factor theorem. And this theorem states that uh, you can test whether a polynomial has x minus k as a factor by evaluating the polynomial at x equals k. And we know another way of evaluating now, right? If we're going to evaluate, we are, we're not going to plug in the value k now, you know, like x equals k. We're going to use synthetic division. And if the result is 0, then that means that x minus k is a factor. Okay? In other words, that uh, if the result is 0, then the next equal k must be a root. Okay, so this must be uh, an x-intercept. Right, and that's what the theorem says right here. The factor theorem says that polynomial f of x has a factor of x minus k if and only if f of uh, k is equal to 0. By the way, if you're wondering what the heck does um, if, if and only if means, that means that you can go both ways. That means if if um, f of k equals 0, then that means that a polynomial f of x has a factor of x minus k. Or it means the other way around. If a polynomial f of x has a factor of x minus k, then, then f of x, or I'm sorry, f of k equals 0. So if and only if means it can go both ways. All right? So let's show how this works here. Let's go and look at example number 7. We want to show that x plus 3 is a factor of this polynomial. Then we're going to find the remaining factors. All right? So uh, let's use synthetic division. And I'll use my coefficients here. Uh, one. By the way, see right here how there is no, um, no like x squared term. So 0x squared plus it's actually a minus minus 19x minus 30. So anytime that you're missing one of uh, the, the terms as far as the degree goes, then you're always going to put a 0 in place. So that means this will be our cubic, so 1 right here. And then you're going to put 0 because there is no x squared term, and then negative 19, and then negative 30. Okay, so very, very important uh, to remember that. And then show that x plus 3 is a factor. So you always do the opposite sign then, okay, negative 3. So let's uh, go and tackle this guy. Drop down the 1, multiply. Add those together, multiply. Add those together, multiply. And add those together, 0. That's right. So since we have a 0 as a remainder, since we have 0 as a remainder, So since 0 is the remainder, what do we conclude? Then, then x equals negative 3. This number right here that we use for synthetic division, then x equals negative 3 is a 0. Okay, that's what that means. That means that we found, we know that this polynomial will cross the x-axis at negative 3, okay? Uh, but look at the problem here. It says, then find the remaining factors f of x, meaning check this out, y'all. Check it. So one of the factors of this is x plus 3, right? We know that from right here. That's one of the factors. And here's the remaining factors. So remember, it started with x cubed, so now we're going to do 1 degree less. So 1 x squared, and then minus 3x, and then minus 10. Okay? And then it says, then find the remaining factors. Well, we know how to factor a quadratic like this. We can do that easily then. So we have x plus 3, and then this is going to give us x minus 5, and x plus 2. And now we have all the factors of our polynomial. 